following my last video, presenting a version of Minecraft with three or four main amazing realistic mods, I received tons of messages asking me how to reproduce it and be able to play it. In this video, I'm going to show you the two mod packs needed to generate a world with very realistic, large-scaled landscapes and to be able to play in that world with very high rendering distance and beautiful shader packs. Feel free to have a look at the video description if you're lost or at the comments to which I will reply. First of all, the mods that I'm going to use are in alpha version. They contain a lot of rendering issues, crashes and other bugs, so it's quite normal for the game to be unstable, but it's still possible to play with it. Okay then, I advise you to start by installing a Minecraft launcher. I use Modrinth, which lets you download and install mods directly and have several mod packs ready to play. So now you have to download all the mods in the description and then download two instances of the simply optimized mod pack that you will find on the homepage, one in 1.20.2 and one in 1.20.4. Then you need to unpair the two versions so that you can modify them and I'd advise you to allocate at least 8 gigabytes of RAM. I'm going to rename the 1.20.2 Reteraforged version and the 1.20.4 Distant Horizons version. Now we are going to add mods to each of these instances. In the Reteraforged version, add the Reteraforged and Chunky mods. In the Distant Horizons version, add the Distant Horizons, Iris and 2032 World Height mods. Launch the Reteraforged version. Generate a new world using the Customize button on the World Creation screen. Open the preset folder, then import the configuration file you have downloaded. You can now select it and click Done. Now that you're in your world, you will use three commands from the chunky mod to generate chunks around you and then be able to use this world with the Distant Horizons instance. You have to center the radius on your position with the first command to generate the world around you exactly from your spawn point. Don't leave your world until the generation is done. It may take long hours to finish. Once your world is ready, go find your world, save in the Reteraforged instance, then copy-paste it to the Distant Horizons instance save folder. Now you can launch it. You will most likely have errors spam. You can just hide them to not be bothered while playing. Go to the Distant Horizons menu, Advanced Options, Logging and disable everything. Here you can adjust the quality of Distant Horizons chunks. Last but not least, you can now import the Bliss shader pack that you have downloaded in the description. Other shader packs that are not specifically built to be compatible with Distant Horizons will not work. And voila, you're now ready to play. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate if you subscribe and like the video. Until then, I will see you next time.